it's time for our final off the record parting shots. Brian Rothenberg. You know, I want to give uh, props actually to Gene Krebs and uh, and some other conservatives and moderates because uh, months ago I talked about sunsetting tax loopholes because we have these tax loopholes some, to some corporations and, and other things and they just stay on the books forever and it's my understanding and, and I'm hearing that there might be some movement in sunsetting them meaning they end and if you want to put them back in you're going to have to find a way to pay for them. I've been saying that for years and so from the right and the left I think we can agree on that. It's a banner moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy? Such happy talk today. <laughs> Very um, well, well, the I'm budget's not <laughs> over. Just wait. <laughs> Jean Krebs, parting thoughts? Yeah, uh, regarding the 51% cut to the Ohio Consumers Council in the state budget, uh, the governor had nothing to do with this. The governor's fingerprints are not on this. Is that a prediction? or like That's knowledge. State? Okay. Mm. It's All something right. that people do not know. What about mm. the gag component? Ban it, stopping the uh, banning the uh, consumers council from uh, not uh, from the governor's office. Okay. Not not a prediction, just a fact. Just, just, a just fact. this is something. Uh, tell us I'll something you don't know. Right. This is something. It's not. This is not the governor's doing. So, would you like to tell us who's nope. doing? Nope. It is. No. Nope. Okay, we're dying. Well, I've got I've got media here. This is what you Maybe guys. Maybe Reggie do. can make a prediction <laughs> on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie Fields. <laughs> Am I up next? You're up. I next. would just say that um, I think Governor Kasich is uh, coming much closer to announcing his gaming plan. We've talked a lot about casinos and such, and I think we're going to know real soon what he wants to do with VLTs in the state of Ohio. Again, those video. Slot machines. Slot machines. And any ideas about what, where that might take us? I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. But, uh, but I, I, I think it's all sort of being worked out in conjunction with what's going on with the casinos right now because the governor's made it very clear that he is trying, uh, as he might, to be able to squeeze more money out of the casinos. And I think they're just kind of working a plan uh, to maybe want to try to offset that. Maybe Nationwide Arena is part of the plan. Yeah, and would it have anything to do with those new consultants they've hired out of California? Uh, yep. 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 Possibly? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Kathy Kandiski. Oh, I was going <laughs> to I was just going to say that I, I expect that there will be something creative done that will keep the Blue Jackets here and keep Nationwide Arena go going. I just think it's way too important to the community. And I think that there's a lot of a lot of folks obviously working on it and a lot of people that want to see that happen. Maybe we'll tie it to job creation or something like that, but we'll see. I think it's they're staying. Maybe okay. they'll be even be in the playoffs next year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> now there's there's a prediction for you. <laughs> okay. 